Hi, this is Eli Camp at Mass and Talk Pro with the Patient Newsletter Content Service. And this is a quick tutorial to show you how to get the new video content into your newsletter. So <clears throat> the first one I'm going to show you here, March, has code where we've been able to insert the video in the middle of the newsletter. We had to be a little strategic in doing that. We worked with MailChimp to figure it out. So I'm going to show you what we did. And then here in April, um, it's the same code, but I'm actually going to walk you through how you do this yourself. Now this tutorial is being done with the assumption that this is how you've been doing your newsletter. If you're brand new to using the newsletter service, and you're a MailChimp user, I would suggest you go back and watch the other tutorials first or you'll be kind of lost in this tutorial. So we're at the stage here where we've already gone into the block where the code gets posted. So I'm just going to click here and bring over our editor over here. And um, the first thing that we did, of course, was come into source right there, the double-headed arrows, and we pasted the code in that was in our file on our email. So in order to get ready to do this, we basically copied this block, and then we deleted everything after the recipe. We inserted the video. Then we came down to the block we had copied, and we deleted everything above what the next article would have normally been. Formatted the video a bit and we were ready to go. So that's what we did. And this is assuming that you send out one newsletter a month and you, will, you, you want to incorporate the video content into that newsletter. It won't always be a cooking video. Sometimes it'll be the feature article that has a video that goes with it or the therapy that has an article. But whichever way you do it, you can always break up the newsletter in the same way and get the video in. I think it's better or will be better and it's better marketing practices to have an additional contact point during the month. And so what I would suggest, and I'll show you at the very end how to do this, but what I would suggest is that whatever the video content is, you break out the article that the video goes with and send it separately during the month and you can set it up at the same time when you are sitting down to do your newsletter. That way you're just working in the code one time and you're just deleting certain sections out. Um, okay, so <clears throat> that's what we did. Now let's go look at how we did it more specifically. And I'm going to jump into, it says April newsletter, but it's March code again. And I'm going to adjust my window here so I have more working room on the right. So here we're starting again at the place where I've pasted the code in. So here's the entire newsletter and I'm just going to scroll so you can see it. I'll go a little bit faster. And here, right, there's no break because this is the whole newsletter and I'm going to come show you. So there it is, whole newsletter. So what I want to do is come back to the top, hover over this and you get these icons which is delete, duplicate, or edit. So I'm actually going to hit duplicate and it's going to duplicate it right below it. So you can see here's the end of the top one and there's the beginning of the bottom one. Then I'm going to go in here and click in that box, right? So it opens up the editor and you always know what block you're editing because it's got that uh, dark gray box around it. So we're actually in here right now. All right. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to come to the bottom, and I'm going to put my cursor down here and highlight a little bit, and then I'm just going to come on up until I get to the T right here, and I'm going to hold my shift down and click to highlight that, and then I'm just going to backspace, and I'm going to backspace again to tighten up that space right here at the bottom. And then I'm going to save and close. And that brings me here to my menu where I have drag and drop boxes. 
and I'm going to scroll down over here until I get to the bottom of the recipe right before whoops sorry went too far that's the bottom block I want to come up here to the top block there so you can see there's my recipe right there where I deleted up to so I'm going to pick up my video and I'm going to drop it right here under that recipe and that opens a video editor on the right now what you'll notice in your email files this month for June sorry I'm um, starting in June but what you'll notice is that you have a new file called month year June 16 video info and in that file there are three things one is a Vimeo link uh, it's a URL uh, that takes uh, grabs the video and you use this for social media it'll autoplay on social media but we'll also use this link when we're inserting it into our email marketing platforms like MailChimp, Constant Contact, etc. You also have embed code that you can use for your website. Embed code gets stripped out in MailChimp so we can't use it. Um, it does in Constant Contact as well. And then if you have your own video player on your own website or blog, um, you know you'll need a cover image. Here is the link to the cover image. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it because the people who do know exactly what that is. So I'm going to grab this top link right here. I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to paste it right here in the video URL. That's going to pop in. So it automatically grabs the image for the video. It formats it so that it is the... Um, you know, it's going to play as a video, etc. And now you'll notice, I'm going to scroll down here, and what you'll notice is there's a caption right here. But in today's day and age, people know what to do, right, with a video. They hit the play button, so we don't really need the caption. The next thing you want to do is click on style and scroll down just a little bit till you get to the background and remove that. And then go to settings, and right here near the top, image alignment, you want to choose center. And this way, no matter what size screen they're looking at it on, it's always going to center very nicely under the recipe above it. Then just hit save and close. Now we need to delete the top part from the top down to the bottom of the recipe here on the bottom block. So I'm just going to click in there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my cursor here at the beginning and I'm going to scroll down here to the end of the recipe just before T right here and I'm going to highlight all of that and hit delete now what you'll notice is that it brings the title of this next article up into a colored block you can leave it like that if you'd like it's certainly good to go. Everything else you need in here is ready. Um, some people like to delete this space here at the bottom. I'm one of those people. So I'm just going to put my cursor there and delete that. Um, if, however, you don't like that blue box, I'm going to show you right now how to fix it. So you want to come into your, so here where I'm at the top, of the, I'm at the bottom block. I'm going to hit the source, right, to get into the code right here and I'm going to delete this little bit of code at the top and I'm gonna just highlight it with my mouse right here until everything is highlighted before that H3 right that bracket H3 you need to leave that alone but I'm gonna highlight that and I'm just gonna delete it and that you'll see takes out the box the blue box and it's just the title at the top However, that also removes the frame that was around here. And so I'm going to save and close that. And I would like to remove the frame off the top as well so that it looks really good. So I'm just going to click in this. And I'm going to come back into source. And all you have to do is delete that first line of code. So a line of code starts and ends with those brackets. So I'm going to delete that. And that simply removes the frame around the email. I'm going to save and close it. So that's how we got the video in to right under the recipe. And like I said, if it was a feature article or a feature video, right, <clears throat> that here's our feature article right here, detoxing. So you could just cut your code right here or your 
newsletter right here and you would delete from there down and you could put your video right in there all right that's how we did it and if you have any questions or concerns or need any help simply reach out to us and let us know because we're really happy to help you start using your video content we're really excited about it we hope you love it um, we certainly do and you have a wonderful day evening thanks